red clay out that several students will share and they'll pinch it off and then they can uh, make a red proton about as big as that center dot on their paper. Okay, just like it shows there on the PowerPoint. Now we'll make seven more about the same size, so they'll just keep pinching those off. So we already had one, we'll have seven more. So how many will that be? That will be a total of eight. One, two, three, and eight. So we have red protons, we have eight red proton students, we have eight blue neutrons. I like to use blue with neutrons because they sort of rhyme helps me remember um, what's what. And then when we get to green, you may have noticed at the beginning that the green clay was uh, a lot smaller than the, the red and the blue, and that's because all you need are little green specks for this. And we're not going to be able to get these to scale, but the next best thing we can do is just say, okay, your reds and your blues were as big as that center dot. And I want you to pick off seven, eight, little green specks. Um, six protons in here, six little red dots equal carbon. As soon as you stick this on here, that's going to equal something else. This is no longer carbon. What is this, guys? Yeah, that's right. This is going to be nitrogen. All right. So six protons is carbon. One more is nitrogen. And here's the amazing thing. You know, a proton is a proton is a proton. They're all the same, whether you have one or whether you have 101. Um, but if you have six of these, you're carbon, right? Anybody know what carbon looks like? Look at the, the graphite of your pencil. That's a form of carbon. Okay, that black greasy stuff that you can smudge across paper, all right? That's what carbon is. That's, that's one form of it. Now, if you add one more to here, you become, now what is that again? That's right, nitrogen. And if your nitrogen, is, is there any nitrogen in the room, students? And they're looking around wondering, um, I've heard of it. Well, you're actually breathing it right now because about 78% of every breath you take is nitrogen. It's an invisible gas at room temperature. Six, uh, seven protons, seven neutrons, and six electrons. That doesn't sound quite right. That's right. So now we're going to put... Um, Electron number seven out there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and now the atom is complete, seven, seven, and seven.